Hello, my hello. My name is Miguel Aujo. It is February third, two thousand nineteen, and today I'm going to be talking about bone shapes and what description makes them fall into certain categories. There are four main different types of bone shapes: flat, irregular, long, and short. The bone, the flat bones, are flattened bones that are thin and have greater surface surface area than any other bone. Some examples of these would be most of the skull, which is like the frontal. Another example of it is the scapula. The next category is irregular. The bone has a complex features such as notches, ridges, and distinct shapes. The irregular bones would be vertebrae and the pelvic bones. Bones like the scapula and the pelvic sometimes fall into two categories such as the flat and irregular just because they do have a flat surface area but also have these distinct features on them that make them a little different than the other bones. Next is the long bones. The long bones are considered the uh, are considered long bones because the length of the bone is greater than the width. Some examples of the long bones would be like the humerus, the radius or ulna right here. The longest bone in the body is actually the femur and that's on the leg, that's the thigh part. Next, we have the short bone and the length of the bones is approximately equal to the width. Those ones are like the metacarpals and the tarsals, or the carpals right here, and the tarsals that are on the on the ankle. Overall, not every bone falls into just one category. Some of them do fall into two different categories. Like I said, the scapulas, the pelvic bones, even some uh bones in the skull would fall into irregular or maybe even short uh, but other than that it's quite easy to kind of be able to differentiate them long bones like I said longer than the width so that's the most common type of bone as you can see right here all the ribs are considered long bones the majority of the arm, the majority of the leg are long bones. The phalanges are long bones. You have them on both hand and feet. So that is the most common type of bone. Uh, the least common, I would say, would probably be the short bones. Just because that's mainly just your carpals right here and the tarpals. Um, Oh, and your kneecap also would fall into that. The most interesting bones to me are actually the regular bones, just because how weird and distinct they look, such as the vertebrae, as you can see. It's almost like a spiky spine going down your whole back. Although you can't see it because of the skin, I think it gives it a cool look. But overall, that's my description of the bone shapes.